Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you, and I'm not clickbaiting, the absolute best point guard build you can possibly make. Now I'm not clickbaiting. They said you, you wouldn't be able to do everything on the game. Well, guess what your boy has gone out and done. I have managed to make a point guard build which can shoot, which can finish with contact dunks, which can get every single dribble move on the game, which can clamp up defenders like a lockdown while still being at 90 speed? Nah, 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 it must be, a, it must be fake, right? Well, it's not. I'm going to show it to you how to make it and you better hurry up and go and make it before they patch this or something because this build is crazy. So yeah, enough talking. Let's get into it. We're going to make him a point guard. The handness, it depends on you. You want to go left? You want to go right? You go ahead. I'm going to pick right because I prefer right-handed. We pick jersey number two. Height. You're going to make him six foot three. Now, before you come at me saying, no, but the meta is only big players. How is a six foot three guard going to be, you know, doing this and that against these six foot five and above players? Because everyone's big, apparently. Well, when you see the stats, you're going to see for yourself. Because I promise you, just because you're going to be undersized by a few inches does not mean, that does not mean anything. Because the stats make up for this build. We're going to make the weight two, two. 222 pounds and uh yeah this is just gonna bring our strength up a little bit and just in general you're gonna see the stats we're gonna be getting out of this build we're gonna be making a seven foot wingspan that defending is gonna go crazy with the seven foot wingspan body shape i have picked compact because in my opinion usually compact on other 2ks unless it's just next gen because this is my first time proper playing next gen although this build is for both gens but yeah, compact just like, it sort of looks like, de like defined on the older 2Ks. Because if you pick like defined or built, your player will just be too big. It, it just it looks like he's blown up almost, like a balloon. But compact, it just feels like it's um, it's just a good, it's just, you know, a good balance. You know, it's not too big, it's not too small. You know, it's just good as it is. So here are the stats we have. 58 close shot, you know, if you didn't know already, just by upgrading some of the stats on the game, you know, they upgrade all the other attributes, so, you know, you might be upgrading your driving layup, but that also will upgrade your close shot, just is what it is, it's a bit annoying, but it's fine, we're gonna get the 58 close shot, 79 driving layup, we only need 70 driving layup to get the long athlete um, layer package, so, it's already good as it is, 84 driving dunk, we get contact dunks already, like, come on, come on, and look at these badges that we're getting already. We can technically, if we want, we, be, we can be catching alley hoops. We got we got limitless takeoff. We got posterize on bronze. You know we ain't gonna be catching them bodies like crazy, but we do get the animations. And hey, you never know if you get the animation, what can go down. So yeah, that's for that shooting. Oh, just amazing. Shoot. Seventy-five mid, eighty-eight three, sixty-eight three free throw. Now. Mike, Mike Wang has said that apparently you need 80, you know, uh, at least a mid 80 to a higher 80 to be shooting consistently. But honestly, if you have 75 mid and then you have badges, because we do get 22, I forgot to mention, we get 16 um, finishing badges. But we do get 22 shooting badges, which allows us to get all of these. We get, we get um, limitless on silver. We get blinders on silver, dead eye on silver, and then everything else is either gold. Or all of it. As the game has just recently come out, we don't know what the best badges are on the game as of yet, but we have an idea. We know that limitless range is good, we know that dead eye is good, and then of course here there's some new badges like Claymore and you know maybe volume shooter might be good. We don't know, we just have to play the game and find out, but that's not an issue because we have plenty of badges we can swap them about whenever there's a patch. But yeah, 22 shooting, playmaking, 79 pass. 94 ball handle, 90 speed with ball. This allows us to get every single dribble move on the game, as we are six foot three, and we have, uh, I believe, it's 89 ball handle or 88 or a 92. I don't know. It's something like that. But we get every single playmaking badge we need. So the most important one, obviously, we get Hall of Fame quick first step. 
We're gonna have handles for days on gold, clamp breaker, killer combos, mismatch expert. Like I, I'm, some of these badges, I'm not, I'm not sure if they're good, but you know, they might be good. We'll just have to wait and find out, but we can get them anyway, so why not? So why not? We can also get floor general and dimer for our teammates, which is good. Hyper drive as well if you run threes. So yeah, now look at our defensive stats, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my. 86 perimeter defending. 78 steel, bro. And then we get 16, 16 badges for defending. We can get, as you can see, clamps, interceptor, challenger, menace, ankle braces, workhorse, pick dodger, off ball pest. And honestly, all you really need anyway is, is clamps on silver most of the time, interceptor. I'm not too sure about challenger. I've never really, I don't know if this is a new badge, but I've never used it, but. It says improves effectiveness of well-timed contests against perimeter shooters. So basically, I, I think it just means if you just jump in their face when they're pulling up and you get a contest, you're good, which is what most people do anyway. So that's good. And then moving on to the last thing, our physicals. 85 speed, 84 acceleration. We get 54 strength, which is, um, you know, a lot of people don't know how they feel about the strength on this game. They say you need a high strength to be good. But we are a point guard, you know. We don't we don't need that strength to be that high. 75 vertical is gonna allow us to get certain animations and a 95 stamina at 99. All of this goes plus four. Moving on, our takeovers. You can pick what you want, really. You have a choice here. But what I would personally go with, I would go with limitless range and spot up shooter. You know, we're being a shooter, we might as well be a shooter shooter. If you really want. You could potentially go for like a lockdown or, you know, maybe a playmaking if you're more of a play. Or maybe if you're a shot creator. You know, I feel like shot creating hasn't really been that good for the past two 2Ks. So maybe now it's a lot better, but I don't know. You can, it just depends on playstyles. This is what, this is what's good about takeovers now. Because you can pick which takeover suits your playstyle. Because you might have a primary takeover of a limitless, you know, range. And then your secondary takeover, if you're playing stage... You might, you know, need extreme clamps, as an example. But I don't know. Anyway, moving onwards. Yes, let's complete the build. Let's see the shades of the players we get and what name we receive for this build. So we play like Damian Lillard. We're going to take that. The other two don't really care. We've got a three-point shot creator. Wow, what a build. What a name. If you guys have better builds, comment down below what your build is. Do you think mine's good? Do you think mine's bad? Let me know. Do you want me to make any specific build videos? Maybe drop down your builds down below. I could make, you know, specific videos on them. Maybe test them, testing them out or something. But yeah, other than that, if you did like it, leave a like. And I'll see you all very soon.